It's been five months, but I'm ready for the new video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my testing rig. It's a build video. Testing rigs are pretty important. Anyways, if you guys do end up liking this video, thumbs up. If you like it a lot, right? Subscribe. Anyways, let's get into the video. Hope you enjoy. Let's start the video with looking at the parts that we're going to use. The first part is the GTX 1050 GPU. It's a great starter card, but it's nothing too great. For the SSD, I am using a cheap $20 eBay 120GB SSD. I'm not expecting much from it, but it'll do the job fine. And for the hard drive, we're using a 1TB laptop hard drive that I parted out of an old laptop that stopped working. For the PSU, I'm using a Dell 500 watt power supply. It's nothing special, it's not the worst, it's not the best. For the CPU, I'm using a 3rd gen Intel i5-3470, which is a 4-core, four 4-thread four CPU. Perfectly fine for a test bench rig. I'm not sure what exact motherboard this is, but I know it's the right socket, I know it's a Dell motherboard, and I know it was extremely cheap on eBay. For the RAM, I'm using a 16 gig kit of Samsung DDR3 memory. Anyways, let's get into the actual build. Right here you get to witness me installing the RAM. What I do is I push down both hinges on both sides of the RAM slots and then I'll be ready to insert the sticks. When inserting sticks, I usually push it down hard enough until I hear a click and I do this for both sticks. Now it's time to install what's arguably the best component in a computer, the graphics card. And for me, this was as easy as putting two Lego pieces together. So here we have a great $20 budget CPU, the Core i5-2500. It's a four core, four thread CPU and does the job extremely well for the price. I want you to get ready here. It's time for a crazy thermal place application. Look at that perfect pea size dot on the CPU. No voice over for plugging things in because that's boring. But I will be generous and I'll speed up the part where I'm plugging all this stuff in. Oh, by the way, if you didn't know how easy it is to install a storage device, it's literally just plugging two cables into it and you're finished. Look at this. Ketchup mustard cable and the SATA cable. The 2.5 inch SATA SSD and the hard drive that are used in this PC build have the same installation. Nothing is different. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. The PC booted on first boot. It was insane. So one sketch thing about this PC here is the CPU cooler. The fact is that it's sitting on the motherboard because the screws for it or latches or whatever you want to call it are broken. If you do enjoy my content, I will be uploading more on YouTube, so make sure to drop that sub button, hit the like, I guess it works for the algorithm, I don't know, I upload on TikTok. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Zach Facts out.